Whew, I am so looking forward for Grand Festival. Let's let's get this going. Oh, perfect! You girls got my test message. Marie, I don't understand why you called us here. Indeed, I got text messages from you as well, Marie. I heard Fry got one from Callie for some reason. That's because Callie is going to do a group discussion with Fry and Pearl. Well, that explains Pearl got getting a text from Callie. Marie, why did you call us here? That's because we're going to practice our discussion role. Are you sure, Marie? I don't think we need to study our discussion role. That is right. There's no point of practicing. We already got our lives just fine. Well, that's the point, Shiver. Since you are now the leader of Deep Cut, you should really practice your role since I am indeed your boss, remember? That's right, boss. I understand. I guess we could do a little discussion practice roles for some... Yeah, I... Okay, fine. What should we practice discussion at? Well, we could probably discuss our past and all that stuff. Perhaps Callie is doing the exact same thing. Have you missed any of our past sections, Marina? Well, there's not many things about the past we I could remember. Oh, I know one. What about you messing up with Pearl? When was that, Shiver? Well, I think I heard from one of the Splatfish newscasts you and Pearl screwed up on one of the Splatfish newscast results. I think it was Spoon versus Fork. Okay, Pearl did mention I did mess up. That was because I almost broke the fourth wall or something. Oh, right. I remember seeing that. You almost told Pearl to shut up. That was because I kept losing and I kind of almost raged. You see, you were almost raging. You almost cut off the newscast. You almost got yourself screwed. I know that's why Pearl helped me out with that backup part. Indeed, Pearl really helped you out on that scene, Marina. You should be careful in newscasts sometimes. I know, Marie. I almost dropped the bomb there. Almost like Callie's bombless brush, you know what I mean? Don't remind me, Shiver. Alright then, I guess we mentioned that part of the scene. Alright then. What about other discussions or paths about us? Well, when I first met you, Marie, I didn't really think you were a pop star when we met. I kind of thought you were like some stranger. You do realize you should have already recognized us when we approached you, Fry and Big Man, in a turner. Yeah, I kind of, my mind was a bit off when I noticed you guys. Doesn't matter. At least you've recognized us big time and we... It was kind of funny. Callie was the one that got you folks to become our new assistants for some reason, which sometimes I regret Callie doing that. And it's funny that I became the boss for some reason. Being the boss of D-Cut makes you a big, a big role now, Marie. I know it does, Marina. Kind of, It's kind of tiring when I become boss of something, even though I have to be like my grandpa. So, ugh. Sometimes it's very stressful working so much. All right, then. Now, finally, we're going to discuss our, anno our annuances of annoying. Oh, that's kind of simple. The Smurf Yoshi. Oh, right. The Smurf Yoshi. Yeah. Why does he like hitting on you, Marina? It's because of my appearance. I also heard he also is obsessed more with Callie. Oh, there's many reasons why the Smurf Yoshi is obsessed with Callie. And it's because of her big bottom bun. Oh, right. That's actually true. I don't understand why this San Yoshi is obsessed with you girls. He's more obsessed with Callie than me. It's funny that he's not obsessed with me for some reason. I don't know why. Is it because of my appearance or something? Maybe because you're more of a stubborn stress type, Marie. 
not really stressed, more like, okay, okay, the stubborn one is true, but I also am tempted sometimes, but yeah, that's probably the reason. And, hey, boss, Melody, have you had a, a, a stubborn tantrum once? Yes, it was when Callie almost, almost broke one of my instruments or something like that. And, of course, making a mess in my room the other day, I almost, I threw almost a stubborn tantrum. Which I told, I forced Callie to clean up my room since she almost, well, if I would say, she made a mess in my room. That explains why you cousins always argue a lot. Yeah, that's actually true. Okay, I guess we explain much about the discussion. I guess we're gonna do just fine. You see, now that's the spirit, Melody. We're gonna be just fine in this last week's discussion. Indeed, Marie, you should not worry. Alright, you're right, you too. Um, I guess there's no point in me worrying. Uh, I'm so exhausted right now discussing this that maybe I shouldn't worry too much. Yeah, don't worry so much, Murray. You'll, you'll be just fine. Indeed, just be yourself. And once the lavish discussion begins, we'll prepare the laurels. Alright, Shiver, I hope you know what you're doing. I hope Callie's doing just fine with her her part. 